What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video is a video that I see you in my comments, okay? A lot of you guys want a couch update and if you don't know, I bought this couch from Pottery Barn about six months ago and that's why it's taken me, I guess, a little while to do the update video. I wanted to make sure that we have lived in it and used it for a good amount of time before I just get on and do an update because if I didn't live in it and kind of use the wear and tear, then what good would the update be? But here I am to tell you that I still am obsessed with this couch. Um, one thing I do kind of wish that I did was get a shade darker. I, ha I have two kids, a four year old and a 20 month old and three dogs. And sadly we had a cat, but he had passed away, but he used to lay on this thing all the time. And because he was indoor and outdoor, he would leave like stain, dirt stains on the couch, but nothing that my good old friend Folex could not remove. Now, I should probably take up stock in this company because this, this stuff is gold. It gets out crayons, it gets out dirt, it gets out pretty much anything that gets on this couch. So if you are thinking about getting a lighter color couch, definitely have this on auto ship for Amazon because it is just so good. Another thing that I do is I always have these like light colored blankets and this is the throw that I've mentioned so many times from Pottery Barn. I do think that this is a must have, but this is kind of like the same color as the couch. So I'll just throw this on the couch and then that is the only way that I allow my dogs on the couch. Thankfully, one of my dogs, he just turned 13 yesterday. It was the one that was right here. He's a little bit too old now to get up on, on the couch, but this big mama right here, this is Winnie. She is a couch lover. And she also likes to roll around in dirt in the backyard. And my backyard is not done. We moved in here two years ago and we just haven't got to the backyard yet. We just got a pool and that's it. But she loves rolling around in dirt and she gets her body on the couch. And that is the only thing that drives me absolutely insane. So I try to keep these blankets on the couch. And now I think she kind of knows that she can only get on the couch if these blankets are here. I also am washing the cushion. So this is the first time that I've ever washed the cushions. I feel like if I do this every six months, it will keep it pretty much brand new, I'm hoping. Um, I don't think that it's something that I wanna do all the time. And honestly, it's not anything that I need to do. All right, now let's clean these cushion covers. This is the first time that I've done this since I've had the couch. And let me tell you, I totally forgot what it was like to remove cushion covers from a sofa. And this is the biggest pain in the butt ever, but I think I plan to do this about once or twice a year, maybe every six months, just to give it a refresh. So here I am just struggling to get the dang cushion off. I then turned it inside out and zipped it up. I was a little bit nervous about washing the cushions because it does say on the Pottery Barn website to seek a professional, but I mean, I don't have time to seek a professional, so how bad can it be? I just turned my cycle onto delicate and then just let them wash. Once they were done, I then just let them air dry and then put them back on. I didn't record that because I struggled yet again, but I will tell you that they turned out amazing. I do use Folex all the time, like I said. Um, I think also as the months have gone on, I've gotten less and less crazy and neurotic about keeping the couch so clean. When I first got it, my husband was dreading saying, yes, get the white couch because I was insane. I wouldn't let anybody eat on the couch. I wouldn't let anybody drink on the couch. My kids, they had to have socks on the couch. Like I was doing the most. And finally I was like, you know what? I just need to live my life and I'm not going to have this couch forever. I'm sure I'll want a different couch down the line. So I've just kind of my husband may not say this, but I feel like I've kind of relaxed a little bit and maybe that's why the couch looks a lot dirtier, a lot more dirty than it had prior. What I also did, which was such a waste of money that I do not recommend you guys do, is I bought the little covers on Pottery Barn. I believe they're like pet covers, which comes in the same fabric as the couch, which sounds like such a brilliant idea and I loved it, but then, and they were really pricey, but I was trying to preserve the whiteness of this couch. And let me tell you, when you put them on, they just look so, so sloppy. Like I am just so annoyed and mad that I spent the money on those. What they should do is have them be like a fitted sheet so you could put it over the cushions and then wash them. So that way it still looks 
pretty clean and beautiful. Like that's why I bought this couch because I find that it's so beautiful. And then those covers just ruined it. Do not invest in those. They sucked me in because they had a little dog sitting on them and I thought it was gonna be such a good idea and it was the biggest waste of money. My husband does not like sitting on them and they just sit in the closet and never get used. But um, other than that, oh, the other thing, since I'm looking at it right now, is this couch has tons of feathers. So it is a feather down filled couch. Um, so feathers will pop out every once in a while. And another thing that drives me crazy is this is a light colored couch. Sometimes there's darker feathers that pop through the surface. You can actually see them underneath and it kind of looks a little bit like dirt, but it's not, it's a feather. So my OCD has to unzip the cushion, bring my hand underneath the cushion and get the feather out because it will just drive me insane. Um, so I know that's nothing that they could like <laughs> fix on their end because I feel like they that would just be way too tedious for them to go through all of the feathers that they have and only pull out the light colored feathers. So that's just me being picky, but I did want to mention that in the video. Um, another thing that I did notice, and it really only is on my husband's side and he sits on this side right here. So I don't know if it's the kind of clothes that he wears when he's on the couch, but his side does do the the peeling. I know a couple of you guys mentioned in the comments wanting to know if this couch peels and that they had saw in other reviews. I notice it on my husband's side, but not so much on the other, the other um, parts of the couch. And I really didn't notice it until you guys left a comment asking me if there was peeling and there is. And now I'm so annoyed because now I do notice it. I was thinking of maybe taking like a razor and shaving it to see if I would could get the peeling off. But then I'm just like, you know what, Brittany, you can't be so crazy. It's just a couch. And this is real life. This is not Instagram. This is not a magazine. This is not a model home. This is my house. And I have three kids and or two kids and three dogs. So, and a husband. I can't forget the husband because sometimes they're worse than the kids. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, so I wanted to mention the peeling that I noticed on here. Any stains, I've never had a problem getting a stain out. So I, like I said, full X is the way to go. I always can get any stain out. I've never had an issue with that. Um, I think because I did get the lightest, one of the lightest colors, um, I think that was my only downfall, but I wanted it to be able to be such a neutral piece that I can switch pillows out and it goes with any type of decor style. So I did go with this one. Um, I know you guys, if you had watched my other video, you had saw that I was going between the cozy Chanel one. That is one that I kind of almost wish that I got, but I didn't because on the swatch, I couldn't tell if the whole couch was just going to be too busy. So that's why I went with like a little bit of neutral. Of course, I can wish that I got that one, but I wouldn't know what it would look like in my size couch. Um, so I got the peeling, the stains we don't have an issue with. And the only other thing which Pottery Barn is supposedly sending me something new is when we got the couch delivered, they never put in, so the, the chase is a pretty big chase and they didn't put in the middle, um, the middle, bar thing in the bottom. So I kind of felt like the cushions were slanting a lot. I didn't know if that was just because of the feathers moving out of the way. Um, and then when we were vacuuming and like carpet cleaning our carpet, I noticed that they didn't have the middle support. So they're sending me that. So hopefully that will make a difference. If not, the couch honestly is so, so comfortable. And would I buy it again? 100%. Um, I do love it. I feel like it is just so, so beautiful. So I wanted to give you guys a quick couch update. Maybe I'll do another one in a year now that I'm not so neurotic and OCD and we can really see how it holds up. But other than that, I feel like it's done its job and it's done really good. And I'm so glad that I didn't get the leather and I opted for the white sofa. So I hope that answered your guys' questions. I just wanted to make this video because I see you guys in the comments. I promise you I do. But if you have any other questions that I haven't mentioned in this video, um, please leave a comment. I always comment back to you guys. I truly, truly appreciate your guys' support here on my little baby YouTube channel. So no comment goes unnoticed. I promise you that. Um, so another thing is I thought I would take you guys around the house to show you guys kind of what I'm doing and why I've been a little bit MIA. I know I had said recently in my last video that I felt like I was going to 
stop YouTube because things weren't moving very fast in my videos and my content. I am not a full-time content creator, obviously. I have a real job, I have real life kids and animals and everything else that goes on in life. And it's just me and my husband doing these DIYs behind the scenes. And sometimes it takes a long time. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen my fireplace update video or like when we did our fireplace and that was back in December and we put the fireplace in the stone wall up so, so fast, but it is now September and we still don't have the shelves on the side of the fireplace. So this is to show you that if you are doing the work yourself, it is going to take some time. So I just want you guys to trust the process and to not give up because of what you see on Instagram or YouTube. You will too have that beautiful house in time. So I wanna take you guys um, and kind of show you guys what we're working on. So let's do that now. So first, if you guys don't remember, this is the fireplace that me and my husband did because for Christmas, I wanted to make sure that I had a fireplace and a mantle to hang all the stockings and like to hang my garland and all of that stuff. So this is the current situation. We are so proud of this. I have a whole series on how we did this fireplace mantle in I'll link it below um, in the description, but we documented the whole journey. And this is something that I kind of like, I, this was the first major project that we did when we started YouTube. And so I just, I'm still so, so proud of it, but it's like I said, it's been nine months and we still have nothing. Like the shelves are still not done. So I want to show you behind here. So this behind here is where we have all of our TV, our fireplace. And so what my husband did, let me show you really quick on this side, is he's building out our shelves and he's making all of this custom. So um, we have the shelves going in, but then we wanted all of this down here is access to like the sound bar, um, the surround sound, the, I don't even know. This is husband stuff, <laughs> but he wanted to make sure that we had a way to access this stuff if we ever need to, God forbid, right? So he made it so that everything can come up if we needed to, and that this and that this side of the shelf would be able to be removed. And then he made a door, which it's open right now because he was just um, painting but we made a door, we, he made a door um, that will be able to be closed. And so when the shelves are in, you won't even be able to tell that there's a door here. So there's that. And then on this side is just gonna be a closed area. So you won't be able to access the fireplace or anything on this side. And we chose to do that side just so that you won't be able to see when like to see the door from this side. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping soon I'm gonna be able to have an update for you guys and this thing will be complete and we can style it together. And the next spot that we've been working on, and maybe this is my problem, is that I wanna do things so fast. So I'll come up with an idea and I'll be like, okay, we need to work on it, we need to get it done. And so then we have so many different pro projects going out on at once and that is what I'm trying not to do anymore because then the first project never gets finished. But I wanted to show you guys my quick little office and what I plan to do with it because I think that it's gonna be such a cute little space when it's done. All right, this is when you first walk through the front door and I am starting to decorate for Halloween, so that should be fun. Um, so this is a little, so this is the living room and then this is the office and I wanted to make this such a cute little moment. If you guys remember, there used to be a big old window that peeked into the living room and I wanted to close that off and make this its own little space. So I decided that I was gonna do vertical shiplap all over the whole thing. I still have to finish it. And then I'm gonna do vertical shiplap up, up there and then on the door to make it all seamless. And then I got this little chair for free on Facebook Marketplace because one of the legs was broken and Chris had fixed it. And then my friend Shelby found me this pillow at a local thrift store. You guys saw it in my last haul. And it is just, ugh, I love this. So now I just need to find a rug. And then I plan to do a really pretty gallery moment on both of these walls so that when you are walking by like this, it's such a moment. 
Like, I think that will be so beautiful. And then I plan to hang the mirror right there so that it kind of makes it feel a little bit bigger and has a little bit more light coming through. And then I plan to switch out that light with this really pretty light that I found on Pottery Barn that I think would just be so, so pretty. So those are the two things that we are working on right now. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this, <laughs> even though I absolutely hate this room and we're gonna be redoing it. So we also turned this into an arch and this is our workout slash toy room, but I hate it. I thought that it would be a good idea to paint this room black and I just cannot stand it. So that's why I never show this space. This was like such a disappointment and we're gonna get to it eventually again, because this is not it. But I do love the arch that we put in. That I do love. And then in the bathroom, I painted the window seal right here. I wake up from the sunshine on my face So dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? Yesterday was supposed to be quiet Be into myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed It was dark brown, stained. I hate it, or I hated it, so I painted it white. And honestly, I don't even really love this bathroom. I think when I first started, I didn't know what I was gonna do in this space. I do really love the Roman clay. This was also a docu or this was also a series on YouTube that I did. And I love the Roman clay. It's just from the kitchen, when you look out, the color of this wall just does not do its justice here. Like it just, something about it just feels so flat. So, down the line, not anytime soon, I wanna to try to figure out something new to do with this space. Um, and then after we finish the fireplace, we wanna move into the kitchen. And it's a little messy right now, but that's real life. What we plan to do, oh, this place, this is gonna be so dreamy. Okay, so we plan to remove these uppers and this upper and just make a really big range hood with Venetian plaster white and then all the way up the ceiling we plan to do the same stone that we have on the fireplace and I can show you guys an inspo pic of what we're thinking of doing and then right here this door is actually to our pantry that is a, a mess so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you guys but we plan to make this one big wall I again want to do a vertical shiplap on it and then I made this little piece of art. I don't know if it's gonna stay there, but you know, art this size is really large. And then we plan to move the, um, what is that thing called? The thermostat and put it over here so it's not in the middle of the room. And then we plan to move the door to the pantry over here, which that is so messy because this is where Chris keeps all of his supplies that he's using to work on the fireplace. So that was the quick update. So I wanted to ask your guys' opinion. So you know those really pretty vintage doors? I was thinking of doing them right here, ones that you just like push through. And I was maybe thinking of doing them, if I can find them, like a black, I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like that could kind of be a really pretty moment to kind of close off the wall and make it kind of one space so that way it doesn't feel kind of off centered what do you guys think so I, i'll put a a little canva up of what i've what i've kind of mapped out and then you guys tell me if i should keep this open or if i should put those doors another quick update is my new coffee table that we found on facebook marketplace it is just so so beautiful if you follow me on instagram you've already seen this a million times I am just so in love with this piece. It is so heavy duty. It's so beautiful. It's just, it's, it's stunning. And then I forgot 
to tell you that I don't even have a dining table anymore. So this is what I'm telling you. I am living in a construction zone. I sold my last table on Facebook Marketplace and I'm just waiting for my new one to be built. I can tell you the story on that when I get it. So that, my friends, was the quick update and why I've been MIA. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes and we just have our toes dipped in way too many things. So we just need to finish the projects that we have right now. And then I think I'll feel more comfortable because right now I just feel like everything is under construction and that is partly my bad because I just wanted to do so many things so fast. So yeah, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the quick house update. In the next video, I'll do my bedroom update because I think that's where I'm gonna put the chandelier and we'll do like a whole reveal of the chandelier. I will see you guys in the next video, bye.